Five reliable but affordable pistols in 2024, guns that don't jam. What are affordable guns that offer astonishing reliability? Many people often ask this question, especially those who are still new to the gun market. Despite so many great options out there, a lot still overlook price as a key factor in choosing their handguns. Of course, more expensive guns tend to offer better quality, but that's not always the case, not with the ones I listed here. What's up, everyone? This is Ted from Line 45. In this video, I compiled a list of cheap but ultra-reliable handguns that are impervious to jamming. Before we get underway, please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons. I know it is a chore, but these simple clicks help my channel immensely. Now, let's return to the video. Taurus GX4. I seriously recommend the Taurus GX4 as a concealed carry handgun for those who are tight on budget. Without going into the nitty gritty details, this gun is downright accurate and reliable without being too expensive. It also has decent ergonomics that could potentially fit your preferences. Unlike other pistols in the market today, the GX4 was not a redesigned version of its predecessor. Others thought that it was an updated version of the G3C, but that's not entirely the case. It has around 30 fewer parts than the original G3C, so you can really say that the GX4 is an all-new gun. Essentially, this one is a striker-fired polymer-framed gun that provides superb quality for its price. It has a surprisingly good trigger that isn't spongy at all. It has a short take-up, hits a distinct wall, and breaks with almost no creep at all. The trigger reset is relatively short and has a lovely consistency. Aside from its impressive reliability, the GX4 also boasts a rather manageable recoil. Keep in mind that this is a small gun, and small guns tend to be snappy. Keep in mind that the GX4 is just 6 inches long. But this one is very easy to control, even while doing rapid firing. Part of the reason is its low bore axis. The other reason why this gun is so controllable is its grip retention. Thanks to the frame texture molded into GX4's front strap, back strap, and side panels. GX4 also provides a decent double stack capacity at 11 plus 1 rounds. It is chambered in 9mm and comes with interchangeable back straps and decent steel, white dot front sight, and serrated blacked out rear sight. Canic TP9 Elita SC. Nobody can deny the tons of value that the Canic TP9 Elite SC brings to the table. Throughout my experience with this striker-fired pistol, it proved its user-friendliness, accuracy, and, of course, reliability. This is a value-oriented gun that doesn't jam. With a price of around $400 or less, the Conic TP9 Elite SC is a semi-auto, polymer-framed gun chambered in 9mm. It's a compact pistol, around 0.7 inch longer than the Taurus GX4. It is 6 inches long and features a 3.6 inch barrel and a width of 1.45 inches. Its extra girth gives shooters more space to hold. Moreover, it ensures that the gun delivers a double stack capacity. It can fit 12 plus 1 round mags or 15 plus 1 round extended mags. But the real selling point of the TP9 Elite SC is its inclusions. For its price, it will give you all the essentials. There's no real need to purchase aftermarket parts. Specifically, it comes with a hard case, OWB, IWB holster, two magazines, two interchangeable back straps, a flat magazine base plate, and an optics adapter plate along with its mounting hardware. I don't know if I missed anything, but the TP9 Elite SC is a full-pack pistol. At the same time, it also flaunts a co-witness, optics-ready slide, and a 1913 Picatinny rail for mounting accessories. Both its magazine release and slide release are ambidextrous. Overall, the Canic TP9 Elite SC is an excellent purchase not only because it is reliable, but because of its ergonomics and value-driven quality. Ruger LCP-2 The Ruger LCP-2 is a gun that debuted way back in 2016. That makes the gun roughly eight years old at the time I made this video. Of course, the design of this pistol is meant for concealed carry purposes. In fact, LCP stands for Light Compact Pistol, and the LCP-2 manifests such a quality. The gun is really cheap. Its brand new price is a little over $400, but you can snake the gun for less than $300. Since it's an affordable pistol, except that it doesn't have flashy features. There are no rails and optics on this gun, and it arrives with a single-stack construction. 
Despite this, the LCP-2 still has accumulated a following, thanks to its straightforward and reliable operation. This 380 ACP gun is known for its no-jam performance and astute accuracy within its accuracy. The grip texturing in the LCP-2 isn't that aggressive. But you don't actually need an overly aggressive grip for a gun that is chambered in a light caliber such as the 380. While the LCP-2 isn't aesthetically appealing, it still has the needed serrations on the rear and front of its slide for easier racking. The key difference between the LCP-2 and the original LCP is the trigger. The LCP-2 has an upgraded trigger that outperforms the stock trigger of the OG LCP as it offers a cleaner break and faster reset. Furthermore, it's worth noting that the LCP-2 is equipped with a slide hold open function on its magazine. For self-defense purposes, the Ruger LCP-2 is an excellent option. It's affordable, effective, and damn easy to use. Iwi Masada Slim Iwi Masada often flies off the radar of many shooters. However, I can testify that this handgun offers excellent fit and accuracy. Simultaneously, it's surprisingly reliable. I know that the gun is made by an Israeli company, and we are all aware of what's happening between Israel and Palestine. But we won't delve into that, as I don't want to be too political. I just want to emphasize that if you are looking for an affordable yet reliable gun, the IWI Masada Slim is a good choice. The Slim variant is a bit better than the original Masada in terms of concealed carry applications. It is as shootable as the original one, but without being too blocky. Despite its streamlined size, this 9mm still offers a 13-round magazine, making it as equally capable as the larger and heavier high power. I particularly like the construction of the Masada. Despite its affordable price tag, none of the components feel cheap. The slide is machined properly, the polymer frame is durable, and the sights are easily visible. Operating and maintaining the gun are very simple tasks, further adding to its overall value. The Masad Slim also incorporates a flat trigger that showcases a clean break. It is not too spongy and has rapid resets. Interestingly, this pistol is also optics ready, which is a yay for red dot lovers. The Masasa Slim has an MSRP of $450 but you can find used, well-conditioned models of this gun priced below $400. Trust me, it's definitely a steal. Smith & Wesson M&P9 Shield Plus The Smith & Wesson Shield Plus is something that I recommend if your budget is tight this 2024. Priced at around $400, the Smith & Wesson Shield Plus is a wonderful piece of firearm that delivers superb accuracy and reliability. The original shield was crafted to optimize the capabilities of a small and easy-to-conceal handgun. But at the same time, it retains all the familiar design details of the M&P pistol, such as those stark cuts and rugged components. Eventually, the Shield Plus was developed, and this one is pretty much the larger version of the original gangster M&P shield. It is chambered in 9mm and offers a standard 8 plus 1 capacity. This striker-fired pistol is similar to the Ruger LCP-2 in the sense that it doesn't have an optics-ready slide, but it has a fiber optic sight that works pretty well, in my opinion. The green front sight easily contrasts with the red rear sights, so even in poorly illuminated settings, the sights can still pop. There's a performance center variant of the Shield Plus that features an optics-ready cut, but that one, obviously, is significantly more expensive, and I am sure you don't want to spend more than what you can right now. At the same time, Shield Plus acquired a brand new flat face trigger, effectively replacing the hinge trigger present in various M&P pistols. It also has an intuitive takedown lever and a loaded chamber indicator. I also love that the Shield Plus was naturally oriented to maintain an 18 degree grip angle, which ensures a comfortable natural point of aim. Again, I have to emphasize that the Shield Plus is a highly shootable and reliable pistol. For its price, it gives its shooters more than they can pay for. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more gun videos like this, just click the subscribe button and notification bell. Take care and stay safe.